What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel for this really quick video and today I'll be talking about block rating. We'll talk about what it does and of course let's see if there's any sweet spot. This one here came from lots of comment requests so just let me know in the comment section any recommendation for a topic. And by the way within a couple of days I'll try to make another test and that's about the relation between block and interior defense so stay tuned for that one. So let's get right into it. So after playing around with block rating, here are the things that I found out. First one, this one here could sound so obvious, but I think it's still good to clear this one out. Block rating doesn't affect your hands up contest. It's either it doesn't affect it at all, or the effects is too small that you don't need to worry about it. On my test, I executed this sequence here in lots of repetitions, and I took note of the coverage and get the average, and in here you can see, it is too close. That is 25 and 99, so I expect more difference. So I assume that gap there is just a margin of error. Now for the fun part, let's test for the sweet spot. Pretty much the same test as the other one, but in here I'll be doing jump contest. So now for the first batch of results, in here you can see, it is building up as you put more. So to see what's happening in this part here, just to be more specific, and in here you can see, yeah it was building up, but somewhere around this point here in between 90 and 81, the boost started to drop for a bit. I assume it is somewhere around 85. You will still get boost up to the max though, it's not like your pass accuracy, pass speed that at 90, everything goes flat, <laughs> that's not the case in here. You will still get something if you want to put more. It just happened that it started to drop for a bit. So now for the recommendation, of course it depends on your build and play style, but just for my rough recommendation, if you really want to double down on block, go on with your life and max it. But if you want to make a balanced build and you want to save points and invest it somewhere else, I recommend just get bronze anchor or probably put around 80 plus, probably around 84 and 85, somewhere there. So that's all for the video, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one, peace.